Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. The life of your son may depend upon Thank you for speaking out. We have the nine-time Emmy Award-winning and TV legend Phil Donahue, and he's going to be here to introduce a film that he produced that means a lot to him. It's a, it's a complete and total uh, film of devotion, the work that he's, he's put into it, um, promoting it and, and getting it seen, and we are very honored yeah, that he chose us to be one of the venues for the screening. Well, what you're talking about is a film that expresses outrage essentially, but outrage about a war that obviously Mr. Donahue feels shouldn't have happened. After I joined the army, it became clear and clear to me that we weren't going to go to Afghanistan. The threat comes from Iraq. And I think the audience, they're going to be very um, excited with him, whether they agree with the points in the, made in the film or not. I speak for a man who there were 25 of us crammed into a two and a half ton truck with no armor on the sides. We have an obligation to never forget the vet, to take care of our veterans when they return from combat uh, that are facing these tremendously difficult situations. I mean, there, there are more and more suicides taking place in America right now of veterans than veterans that are actually being lost in combat. Uh, so we have to watch out for things like mental illness, drug and alcohol addiction, uh, homelessness, uh, people just trying to find a job uh, when they return from war. And films like this help us to at least recognize that there is an issue, to talk about it, and then figure out what we, what we need to do next. And I'm gonna ask you to greet our guest of honor tonight, Thomas Young. Thomas had a bullet go through his spine at the T4 level, which is between the shoulder blades. So he's paralyzed from the chest down. Thomas can't walk, Thomas can't cough. 24 years old, prime of life male. Every morning he has morning nausea, uh, urinary tract infection, on and on. And I thought people should see this. And this is morphine. It's a narcotic. And uh, in this situation, the effect is not to get high, but to kill pain. And so I have to take more and more of it to stop the pain. I thought it was a very sanitized war and that we Americans were not really seeing the pain and the sacrifices that, were, that Americans were making. What you see in my film is a drama that's happening in thousands of homes across this country. We kind of turn our backs on our mistakes, you know? And when you think that almost 5,000 Americans died in this war, over about 30,000 injuries, Oh, 100,000 Iraqis dead. We have four million refugees. Iraq now is in chaos. And um, Saddam Hussein had no weapons of mass destruction. Saddam had nothing to do with the towers. And Iraq was never a threat to this country. So this was a massive blunder. And I think if we don't review what has happened here, it's going to happen again. Every major metropolitan newspaper in this country supported the invasion of Iraq. Media supported, all of media, all the channels, all the analysts supported this invasion. And it was, it was a huge mistake. And I just think we should be honest about that. I hope my fellow uh, soldiers are uh, starting to realize that uh, supporting President Bush is a little like uh, chickens voting for Colonel Sanders. No distributor, by the way, would take our film. This is not a take your girl to the movie movie. This is, a, this is a very painful movie to see, which is what our intention was. I s told Thomas when we began, who's our protagonist here, he's the victim in this film. I said, Thomas, I want to show what harm really means in harm's way, but I can't do it without your permission. He said, I want to do that too. So we set off and it took over four years to make this film. 
And I think if you're going to send young people to war, you should show the sacrifice, not only of the people who fight, but of their families. Oh, oh, oh.